I like it. People in Wuhan drink alcohol in the morning. That's new. The noodle just slipped into my throat. Hello everyone, this is HTVC How to Do Something in China. I am breakfast day. I am currently in a hotel lobby. Yes, another city, which is the breakfast paradise of China. Wuhan. Wuhan is one of China's oldest and most populous cities, with over 3,500 years of history and 14 million people. Yesterday, I took a three-hour flight just to be here, all for today's video. Why choose Wuhan? Because Wuhan has the most variety and diverse ways of eating. I must show you the most special ones. Now, let's rock! Breakfast culture thrives in Wuhan boasting over 270 different types of breakfast. But the weather is not so good. See? Rainy day. In other parts of China, having breakfast is called 吃早饭, but here they call it 过早, celebrating the morning. That's so cool. Breakfast is not just about food, it's a lifestyle. You can tell how much they value the breakfast. Wuhan's breakfast culture originated from the docks. On the one hand, due to the tight schedule and unpredictable shape times in the morning, these breakfasts are typically grab and go. You can stand, walk, squat, whatever way you prefer to enjoy your breakfast. On the other hand, dock workers engage in labor intensive work requiring high energy, so Wuhan's breakfasts are often rich in oil, salt, and carbs. Of course, Due to Wuhan's central location, you can find all shadows of cuisines from all over the countries. People say that you can have breakfast for half a year without repeating a meal in Wuhan's breakfast. I didn't have dinner last night, all counting on this meal today. Please watch till the end and see how much breakfast I've tried. It's really cold today. It is about zero degrees Celsius, and I've heard that it's gonna snow today. But the breakfast is still hot. My first meal is gonna be Yobing Bao Shao Mai. I want the most special one. It is red there. Others are blue. You have to have a Yobing Bao Shao Mai. Thank you. They have little tables there. Let's go sit. It's like a fried pancake with dumplings inside. See, the golden shell looks so crispy. I can't wait to have a try. Mm. It's hollow. See? And the dumplings inside. Mm, I like it. Inside the dumpling, there has meat and some mushrooms. It has a very strong flavor of pepper. This dumpling is not dry at all. It has so many soup, very juicy. I've heard that this store is very famous. So there is a line, a long line, and it's just seven o'clock in the morning. And it's raining, it's very cold. Still, there's a long line. I've never seen things like this before. Wuhan people are so creative. I got the most famous breakfast in Wuhan. It's like an ID card, hot dry noodles. Oh, I heard that you must try this noodle very fast. Mm. It is sesame oil. And you should uh, do this and make sure every noodle is sipping with this soup. I smell. Mm. 
a strong flavor of the sesame oil. Different from other noodles, but I like it. Oh, I watched a video and some grandpa said you must try this noodle very fast, in like 5 minutes. Or if you think this noodle is not good, you should blame yourself, because you did not eat it right. If you open your morning with this bowl of noodles, you will be energetic for a whole day. My noodle is just too dry. I'm gonna try this egg nut. It is like egg soup, but it truly contains alcohol. People in Wuhan drink alcohol in the morning. That's new. Oh, sweet. I think they just used hot water to flush it, not cooked. The egg is still very tender. Usually I open my morning with one coffee and today with alcohol. Interesting try. This is Sanxian Doupi. It is made of top skin. First, I'm a very big fan of sticky rice and they put on tough skin. I think I also taste egg and with all that small ingredients, the flavor is just so fresh. It's my first time to try this. Well, once you have so many food I have never seen before. From 1 to 10, I'll give it 8 because I prefer more spicy food. It's not spicy, but still very nice. Normally, you can see many people just walking here and uh, eat breakfast. But today's rain is just too heavy. You can see, you can literally see the stream falling down. So I guess that's why today less people. And we are gonna wait for a while because <laughs> it's the cold and wet. Now we are at another breakfast street. It's also very famous. But it seems like they are doing some constructions. Not looking so good. Ooh, look at that smoke. A little tip. In China, if you don't know what to eat, just look for the longest line. What, what is qi shui bao? Qi shui bao. Steam Baozi. Got my Mao Shi Qi Shui Bao. I got the Lotus Philly. Mm. It's truly crispy. I can taste the lotus and it also has meat. It is a little a little salty. But I can also taste the sweetness from 1 to 10 and I give it 6. Not very different from other balls I've tried. It's just fried. Yeah, 
Now I get a fresh fish paste soup with noodles, and also a fried dung stick with it. I saw every local eat this soup with this, so I must have tried. Look at my soup. It is called fish soup, but I cannot see any fish. It is kind of sticky, and I have a lot of small shrimps on it. The noodle just slipped into my throat. <laughs> I didn't even chew. Interesting. I think that's why there are so many grandpas and grandmas because they don't need any teeth to eat it. Now I will eat it like the locals, dip it into the soup. It will covered with fish paste. Yeah, let's try. I taste a very strong flavor of pepper. Stick down, becomes so juicy. Oh, I like it. From one to ten, I give it nine. a very special way of eating here in Wuhan. People will just stand there or walking while eating. I've noticed a lot of people doing it. And I've done it many times today myself. So, that's my morning in Wuhan. I just got too much carbs. I think I need three days to digest them. But still, a very good special breakfast experience. If you ever come to Wuhan, you must celebrate your morning here. Congratulations! Now you know how to have breakfast in China. Making content is not easy. Please like and subscribe. See you next time!